Tech Tour on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Dow Agro Sciences Canada, redefining herbicide performance so growers can spray when they need to. Sean Haney here with realagriculture.com for another episode of the Tech Tour brought to you by Dow Agro Sciences Canada. Right now I'm joined by Pat Bojo and Bob, Bob Higgins. From Seedhawk. Welcome today, guys. We're at Farm Progress 2014. We are huddled in the tent trying to stay dry. Okay. That's right. <laughs> this is uh, good. So, the, what the tech tour is, is basically we're going across Western Canada, talking to companies that have new technologies, new innovations, that are really trying to save farmers time, make them more efficient, and of course, enhance profitability, which is, that's what innovation is all about, right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So, you have a new technology you're showcasing at the show. Pat, what is it? Well, basically, it starts with the tank. We've gone through a bigger tank with four product component, products in the tank. But uh, what really is uh, capturing people's attention is this meter system that has, it's got four elect- or eight electric motors that feed the eight air streams that go to the toolbox. And with electric motors, you can do so much more than, uh, you know, ground driver, hydraulic driven motors. We can start and stop for overlaps. We can. Uh, uh, it's just much easier to control. And then to control those electric motors, we, we're using an iPad connected to a gateway, and the iPad then is a Wi-Fi wireless, and the farmer can set his rates, set his uh, system, walking around the machine with the iPad in his hand. So he's not running back and forth with the tractor to set things. And the iPad is it's so user-friendly the way we designed it, so it is. It's more efficient for the farmer, saves him time, saves him headaches of calculating things because it's designed specifically for the Seedhawk metering system. A lot of the control systems are designed for sprayers, seeders, whatever else they want to come with. This is a Seedhawk system specifically for that, so it's so much more user friendly. Well, with Bob, let's take a little bit of a closer look. Okay, Sean, well, we'll take a closer look at the new system here. Um, So as Pat had mentioned before, we're we're bringing the iPad into the cab of the tractor. So this is the the operate screen of the new new control system. So we've brought in all of the key features that the the grower operator needs uh, while he's running the machine. So we have a very, very good workflow on the the screen. Um, Buttons are on the on the right hand side for easy access. We have fan speeds, packing pressures, uh, drill speeds, all that information's on on the main screen. So as we go, this is operating the the new meter here. Um, We have the eight individual sections, all operated by uh, electric drive motor. So it's just a simple, very simple uh, metering system. Easy, easy to work around. The new diverter for the Airstream um, is on the bottom of every every housing here so so to simply switch Airstreams it's just a matter of undoing the handle and rotating uh, your diverter 180 degrees and now you're into the different Airstream so again it's just increasing uh, workflow making things easier for the user in the end and then basically uh, the iPad you use at home to read your books or to play your games on? You yeah, exactly. After tractor. after seeding's done, you can take it home and play uh, Angry Birds on uh, on it if you'd like. The other the other benefit too is if you do lose this or run over it with the tractor, it's as simple as going to Home Depot or Future Shop and, and grabbing a new one, putting the new app on it, and you're, you're off to the races again. Well, we can only have so many monitors in the cab, right? So it's nice to start including some of this usability or functionality into a device like an iPad that people probably already have. And know how to use. And have, has probably better screen resolution than the monitors that we have. Exactly, track. yeah. So, so, Pat, where does all, the, where does all this data go to? Well, there, there's a, what they call a gateway on the on the grill on the tank, and it stays back there. And so, if you drop your iPad in the water or run over it, it you haven't lost all the data that you've uh, created over the spring seeding. So it's always in the gateway. The gateway is really the main computer, and it's sending a Wi-Fi signal that the wi- that the the iPad can pick up. And so that's why the farmer can, you can actually have two iPads in the cab. You can have one for your blockage monitor, one for your main screen for everything else. So you can, you know, or, yeah, the farmer could have one in his half done, I guess, follow the machine around if he really wanted to. So so, so this this uh, interface is basically controlling everything that happens with the cart. Correct. Card, card and toolbar, everything's all all integrated into uh, into the gateway. So the gateway is the field computer. This is your monitor. 
the display. There's no, like Pat said, no real information stored on this. It's just communicating to the, gate, the gateway via Wi-Fi. Okay, so that, that does create a lot more efficiency uh, being able to control everything in one spot. That's right. What, you guys just gave a presentation to some growers about this technology. What was the uh, response? Oh, the growers love it because they can see that they've already really uh, enjoy using our sectional control technology where if we start overlapping, uh, the, 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 the gate shuts the, the, that section of flow off and the openers lift. So, so really, the, it's hand-free seating. So, they, so the openers lift, the pieces shut off, and you don't have to turn it on and off at the headlands. With this, then, it's taken it to a new level because it's a lot more accurate on the shut off and on, and it's easier to set the whole thing. And so really, once, you know, once you've got it set, you can put anybody on the tractor pretty well, and they can run it. They won't overlap, they won't miss anything. You know, and so it's a, it just makes that whole thing a lot more trouble-free and simple to set. Well, the more time the farmer spends in the cab of the tractor with the drill running, uh, the more efficient you are. That's right. That's right. Productivity is a big thing. So with the uh, with the new carts, each bin has its own uh, own load cells on the bin. So now in the control system, we can see we have the weight displayed on on the iPad here. So you know exactly how much products in the tank at all times. And that and that'll display because it knows the rate. It tells you how many acres you got left in the tank. So you can plan ahead. You can phone phone for more product or whatever. And uh, and you also will know how big the field is. So. You can pretty quickly know, you know, have I got enough to finish the field or not, or should I tweak the rate a little bit to make sure I'm empty when I get done. So, and it's really intuitive when it comes to setting the rates. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate you taking the time to show us the, the new technology. Uh, if viewers want, they can go to realagriculture.com backslash tech tour to get all season one episodes and all these great new episodes from season two. Also, if you can go to gotechtour.ca to register for the contest. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.